Alexis. And I, I, I never made it past the uh, random number generator filter, so the, the only way I got in was uh, volunteering to do this. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, so uh, TKDM, uh, Takadum, or uh, Tequiero Demasiado, however you want to pronounce it, it's one of the uh, world's most popular Python packages. Uh, six million downloads last month, I think. Um, half a million people have read the documentation. It's hard coded into Anaconda because Conda hasn't heard of Git submodules. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so what is it? It's just a, it's a progress meter. Um, so if you go to any of these landing pages, this is the first thing you'll probably notice, because eye candy. Um, it's a GIF. I'll go through all of the features shown here, plus hopefully a few which you haven't heard of before. Um, for those of you who don't know this library, let's say you take a simple for loop in Python and you're wondering when will it end. Um, so with a simple four characters of code, TQDM, you can wrap any iterable and you get this nice progress bar for free. Um, it's wonderful because it works in the terminal, Windows, Linux, Mac, Jupyter Notebooks, basically everywhere. Um, we also provide this tRange convenience function, so that's down to one extra character of code now to get an extra progress bar. Um, this supports the same options as TQDM itself, so you can add a custom description, a bunch of other bar format arguments as well. I'll go through some other optional arguments later. And of course, you can use this outside your Python modules um, on the command line itself. So if you uh, use TKDM to you know, measure the throughput of a pipe in terms of number of lines per second or bytes per second, um, if you specify total, you get a full progress bar as well. And um, so why use this? Obviously, it's incredibly easy to use. Uh, we pay attention to overhead as well. Um, worst case scenario, even if you have an empty for loop where all it's doing is displaying a progress bar, it's still nanoseconds. Um, we have intelligent estimated time remaining, unlike Windows file copy, two hours, three days, infinity. No, we don't do that. Um, <laughs> works, works in anything which is uh, you know, equally broken cross-platform, but hey. Um, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, as I mentioned, and it has no dependencies on any other Python modules. So, um, quick recap of usage. You can wrap any iterable, uh, character arrays, numpy arrays, whatever, pandas, it just works. Um, you don't have to wrap it within a for loop. You can create a TKDM object outside and then call member methods, such as set description and things like that. Um, you don't even need an iterable at all. You can just create a TKDM object with a total and call update as and when you feel like it. And uh, if you do this, try and treat the progress bar a bit like a file object. So use the with syntax or use the close syntax. It's just good programming practice. Um, if you're using it as a module, I'd recommend you use the Python 3 version simply because Python 3 is a little more efficient when it comes to dealing with standard input and output, but feel free to use the uh, Python 2 version if you want to. So for example, say you're printing out all the lines of code in your Python files in Linux, this is the command. This is the TKDM version, some fancy bar formatting arguments here as well. Say you're backing up a directory, TKDM version again, specifying a total so you get a nice progress bar. 7-zip um, equivalent in case you're interested. Uh, in terms of documentation, import TKM, run help. If you're in a notebook, TKM question mark. Um, and on the command line help, of course, you get more options than you can shake a keyboard at. So um, there's also the examples folder online, the wiki. Uh, there's this Jupyter notebook itself. You don't have to install Jupyter or anything. You can just run it within your browser, click either of those two buttons. Um, and here's the interesting bit of the talk. So for those of you who actually have used this before, um, so we have uh, member functions, which you might find useful, set description, set postfix is particularly nice because it takes any arbitrary list of arguments and tries its best to pretty format them, so pretty useful for machine learning and that sort of thing. Um, we also have things like the bar format to completely customize exactly what your bar looks like, really abusing Python uh, formatting notation to use this postfix thing in order to you know, access nested dictionaries and things like that. Um, and we support nested progress bars as well, so you can have multiple bars displaying on top of each other. If you're using this on the command line on Windows, you might have to install Colorama as a dependency to make it less broken. Um, we, we also allow you to specify a position just in case you're doing multi-threaded stuff in order to get the bars displaying correctly on top of each other in the right order. Um, if you're trying to use this with your own external libraries, you can use callbacks. So for example, say you're downloading with something with URL lib. Uh, here's the TQDM version. Um, most of this is just a simple wrapper. So TQDM has this update which expects delta iterations, so number of iterations elapsed since you last called it uh, update. And URLib wants an update too, which is the total number of iterations called so far. So that's just four lines wrapper code, uh, giving it uh, to this report hook as URLib calls it. Again, we're being fancy here, specifying units as bytes and unit scaling and that sort of thing, and you get this nice progress. Um, you can specify total and that would be a progress bar. Um, yeah, if you're doing some machine learning, say a Keras model, and you did model.fit, this is the annoying sort of output you might get. And, and then, again, with three or four lines of code, you can, you can give this little wrapper and get this nice TKDM progress bar. Um, we have pandas wrappers, as I mentioned, so you can do a series map apply, goodbye progress apply, that sort of thing. Um, 
And of course, we have notebook integration, so you can import TN range N for notebook or TKM notebook, mix and max them, um, wrap them up, um, have nested progress bars, it just works. Uh, Here's a GIF of what that sort of looks like. Um, nice attention to detail, it'll turn red if you break out of a progress bar halfway through or turn green when it's completed. Um, and if you're not sure whether your end users are using a Jupyter Notebook or going to be running their code on the command line, you can always import from TQDM Auto, which will automatically figure out what your front end is. Um, and I'd like to finish with this quick graphic um, tweet, which went viral about a year ago, I think, uh, highlighting how few people are responsible for maintaining some of the world's most you know, popular numerical Python packages. And here's the TKDM version as well, just for you to know. So, uh, cheers. <laughs>